Welcome to this DTU use case challenge. We sometimes have teams who have developed a technology but are not decided on the specific use case. They have a solution but are looking for the problem. We hope that you, with your industry insight, would help us find the right use case. We hope that you will look through this video and give us maybe one or two examples of where you would use this technology. We also hope that you would use your own network to validate the value of this if you have time. But enough of me, let's hear it from the team. We are trying to build a 3D printer that can print micro nanoscale. Our core technology is to shrink the very large uh, professional microscope into the fifth size uh, format. And uh, we use this fixed size uh, high quality optics for um, 3D printing and in micro and nano resolution and large area. And uh, we can have a multi material uh, printing. In comparison to the, the highest end, res, uh, high scale resolution printers, they usually use very expensive, very rigid, and large optics. We are on the other hand, not limited at all by our optical system. It's the size of a car key and it provides us with the very high scale resolution that we want. And it's um, very easy to operate and very versatile. Compared to other uh, 3D manufacturing companies, we have uh, the very high scale resolution, very expensive machines that usually goes into clean room. They can reach up to a sub micron and low nanometer scale resolution. It's usually very small printing, uh, a low printing speed but they, they get really nice and well-developed features. Then we have outside the clean room, the typical large-scale 3D printers that you also see in, the, in typical manufacturing places. These have, of course, much worse resolution, but they can do a very high throughput for their printing. We find ourselves somewhere in the middle, maybe a somewhat semi-clean room facility where we can either sell the printouts or we can lease out our printers for local or lab-scale facilities. Metal 3D provides an affordable price, uh, several times cheaper and significantly lower than the same level systems on the market. We can 3D print on top of other objects in micro nanoscale. And I think that's a unique um, uh, point in our system. Also, uh, another unique feature is that we can have a really fast micro scale printing. We can shine a laser uh, on the photopolymer. We can create cone shape structure in uh, like one second, one shape. And normally other printer, they need to print layer by layer. Except for a si only a single wavelength laser, Atto 3D equips three types of lasers, a 405, 650, and 780 nanometer wavelength lasers, allowing for a more broad range of material selection and a novel photopolymerization process.